Hello and welcome to a Tabletop Bellhop Cardboard Coat Check. I am Mo Tuzano, the Tabletop Bellhop, your Cardboard Concierge, working with you to make your game nights better. Today what I'm going to be doing is cracking open this surprisingly large box. This is, uh, you can probably recognize the art style if you know the game. This is the big miniature expansion, the Stormbird expansion for Horizon Zero Dawn, the board game from Steamforged Games, who I do have to thank for sending this along with the base game for us to check out. This is expecting to find an epic miniature in here and some cards. I don't know what else. Uh, the Horizon Zero Dawn board game is a very, very cool adaptation of part of the video game where you are playing hunters out on a hunt for the Hunter's Lodge. In the original game, you just have one beast you can you can go after. Well, this adds a whole new mission where you're trying to catch a Stormbird one of the most dangerous machines in Horizon Zero Dawn. So what I'm going to do here is crack this open. There's not going to be too much in here, but you got to see this miniature. That's what I am really looking forward to. So step one is going to be to cut the shrink. Again, Steamforge Games, official PlayStation licensed Horizon Zero Dawn expansion. You do need the Horizon Zero Dawn board game to be able to play the game. But if you just want a really cool miniature, you might still want to pick this one up. First step, though, cutting the shrink. This is a massive box for one mini. Probably some card. All right. Uh, really quickly show off the box. Not sure why you'd want to really keep it for the side or anything like that. But it's probably going to be a good way to store it. Um, I will do appreciate. We're a little zoomed in here. But if you like to store your games uh, vertically, you put the box this way. If you like to store them horizontally, you put it this way. I always appreciate that. All right, let's get to the mini. That's what we care about, right? Well, we care about the gameplay too, but this is an unboxing. But there we have the rule books. Rule book, sorry. Oh, there's, there's more here than I thought. Like there's, there's 11 pages here. Um, shows a list of components. Oh, nice. There's going to be a new board. I appreciate that. So there's a board too. Uh, we have the rule book. We're going to have, of course, have new tracking cards, and we're going to have cards for the Stormbird. A little bit of an introduction. Um, <laughs> adding it, how to your game, when to do it. So it looks like there might even be some more interesting changes here. I'm not going to get into the details here. How to set up the final encounter against the Stormbird. The Stormbird has multiple data cards, including a structural th um, threshold, has multiple components, and has a new sized base called Immense. An immense base. I'm amused by that. Um, and then, of course, rules for an immense base. Um, and then patrol routes and the immense base. How does it follow its patrol route? So that's kind of interesting. And then the, it has different attack modes. What happens if you fail the encounter? What happens if you win? Um, and a quick reference, because it has two new symbols here, and the, the whole structure threshold's new. So that's a lot of rules for adding one thing. This is, this is intimidating. There's a construction guide. Okay. Oh, that is the construction guide. <laughs> okay. Put the wings on. Put it on the base. All right. Not very difficult there. So is this like a board that's going to fold out instead of four new boards? So these are, these are the same size as the tiles in the base game. Oh, look at it. Look at how big it's going to be. We're going to put that aside, though. We're going to put that aside. I don't want to put it aside. I could just jump right to the miniature. No, we can't. Cut and a shrink on the board. Does. Even four new boards for the game. If these can be combined with the base game, that'd be nice. I'm getting little bits of shrink wrap instead of the thing opening. Oh, it folds. It's it's a board, like a, a board game board. Check it out. That's massive. Like, like I played the game, right? There you have the massive just fits on my cam board, including lots of grass. It's always good to see plus special terrain. This is going to be grass plus special terrain, some special terrain there. Um, the Stormbird path is pretty simple. It walks in a square. Um, and then do we have multiple sides? No. So it's not a two-sided, unlike the base game. So I am going to guess this probably doesn't combo with the original game. Like, you're never going to get this board out unless you're fighting the Stormbird. It doesn't even have a Stormbird symbol. But cool. Um, art style, everything matches the original game. There's lots of grass on this one. Lots of places to hide. Probably required. Okay, protective coating thing. There's uh, some unneeded air in here. But first... I'm going to put the mini aside again. Yes, I'm teasing you. All right. The exciting part, the cards. Yeah, I know. I know that's not exciting. So, just what I expect. Ooh, what's... 
Okay. All right. Here we have our encounter cards for building the storm wards deck, uh, which has, of course, all of the the existing characters. It looks like I don't know the downed watchers. So using the existing map tiles, you have your level ones. Uh, you know what these are if you played the game. Your level two and your level three, leading up to the final fight. You're going to go through. Uh, is it four of these? Four or five? That's bad. Four or five of these before you actually get to the final challenge. This is impressive. This is the Stormbird action deck. And, like, what's really neat is it's split in two for Stormbird Airborne, what it's going to do. And, man, there's a lot it's going to do. That's, that's a busy card. Um, airborne actions and Stormboard Bird, Stormbird Landed. Oh, sorry, that's an Airborne. Landed actions, which are all different. And it looks nasty. Like there's there's a lot of things here that it's gonna do. Um, like look at this one. This is look at all these attacks. It's got melee attacks, ranged attacks, bombardment attacks. I like it. I like the fact that there's actually two different sets depending on if it's on the ground or not. Then we have the actual like stack card, which comes in a different style of package, which is probably just as bad to open. Okay. We just use the knife. So yeah, there's two of these. Um, do they go to get? I'm not sure. Just I guess there's two. These are identical, so that's kind of cool. Because in the previous game, there was only one for each each uh, monster type. So this is kind of cool, so that you can like spread them around. I think, or maybe it's like you have one side up with the one track and one with the other. I don't know. I will have to read the rules, but you get two cards for the Stormbird. That's it, right? Everything you get. With the Stormbird expansion pack. Oh, you want to see the, the miniature? That's one wing. One wing. That's a second wing. That's uh, butt. <laughs> Tail feathers. And well, there's... There, look at that. Okay, we're going to move this over. That is big. Like... <laughs> that's... I don't, I don't know. You have to know how big my hands are, a standard bell is, to really get it, but that is bigger and chunkier than I was expecting. That goes in nice. Um, yeah, okay, I can get it out. <laughs> I'm like, I'm not going to put this back in, am I? And then he goes on here. I will say this doesn't feel overly fragile. All right, you're getting a top-down view, which I realize isn't quite as cool. I should have brought up one of the miniatures for the core game. Uh, this way for the tail. Oh, this assembles nice. Like Steamforge does do the epic encounter sets. Um, so I know they know what they're doing, but like this is this is assembling very smoothly. Look at that wingspan. Might not fit on my camera. Look at that. Okay. The size of this. A standard Games Workshop miniature. That is a, a Games Workshop. Empire um, Engineer Mini, because it just happened to be nearby. And like, look at the size difference there. Okay, we're going to... I don't want it to fall off its base. Tip it up a bit here. Uh, there is no way this will fit in the base game box. You are going to have to keep a separate box on your shelf for this, or leave it set up on your miniature shelf. Just to, like, look at that. Look at the size of this miniature. Look at that. That's huge. It's huge and very cool. Again, just compare for people who know the size of a Games Workshop miniature. That's a GW mini down there. This is as big as some of my uh, Reaper Dragons I own. Very cool. Uh, looks like over a foot. Let's find out. Yeah, that's over a foot. Wingspan. Looks like about 16 inches. 16 inch wingspan on this. And it stands... Six inches tall. That is pretty cool. Um, length of the bird itself is about nine inches. Very neat. Very, very cool. I'm impressed. I, I just kind of want to stare at this thing. Makes me want to get back into miniature painting. That 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 is an impressive mini. Kind of show this off. and kind of see the top there. You've got all the little details. That you expect to, the you know the canisters you can knock off the uh, I don't remember what they're called but the things that do the vibration attacks here 
Um, here's a shot of the bottom. Here, what I'll do, take him off so you can kind of see the detail. Like, yes, it's not a super highly detailed resin model. Yeah, that's, I haven't glued anything, obviously. I just kind of shoved everything in place. Which, if I did glue it, I wouldn't be able to put it back in the box. All right, speaking of putting it back in the box, that's the next step. There you go. Everything back in place. Extremely impressive looking. Board. Construction guide, which seemed pretty silly. It was pretty obvious. I'm not even going to bother putting that back in my box. Rules for using it. New cards. What I didn't see at all in here, uh, which is kind of interesting, is any expansion content for the other stuff. But I wasn't expecting it. It's called the Stormbird expansion. I didn't expect more than to be able to fight against the Stormbird. What you get with the Horizon Zero Dawn, the board game, the Stormbird expansion. So it is thes in one game expansion title. Uh, a big bird. You, you get a big plastic bird um, that I'm sure a lot of people will enjoy painting. A big base that it goes on. Uh, reference cards for using it during play and a rule book that tells you how to fight the Stormbird instead of any of the other possible creatures you can fight in Horizon Zero Dawn, the board game. Um, fantastic board game we're really enjoying from Steamforge Games. Uh, this is, I'm impressed. I, that, that is big. It's, it's over a foot in um, length. It's, it's half a foot high. I, it was like, a, what, what, three quarters of a foot long. Like, as a big mini. That, that, I don't know, can you call them minis anymore? It's a maxi. You get a maxi bird expansion in this expansion um thank you for watching me unbox that and I, I am the tabletop bellhop you can find me at tabletopbellhop.com you can listen to me on the tabletop bellhop gaming podcast where my co-host and i answer your gaming and game night questions if you got a question for us head over to tabletopbellhop.com click on ask the bellhop or email us questions at tabletopbellhop.com um, when I do start checking out this expansion, I'm sure I'll be sharing it on my social media feeds. You can find me everywhere. TikTok, not TikTok. Well, I'm on TikTok, but I don't post there very often. Twitter, um, Facebook, Instagram, Dice Camp, which is the master, my Mastodon of choice, uh, as Tabletop Bellhop, one word. And then I'll eventually put up a review on the blog, tabletopbellhop.com. So you know where to find my stuff. Um, really looking forward to trying to fight one of these bad boys, bad burrows, bad birds, bad birds. Looking forward to fighting one of these bad birds in Horizon Zero Dawn, the board game. Thank you.